good morning children how are you all this is our sujana your english teacher last week we have discussed a new lesson right so what is the name of the lesson the town mouse and the country mouse we have completed half of that lesson so let us continue the lesson what is the name of the lesson the town mouse and the country mouse let's have a recap of the lesson what happened the town mouse and country mouse were cousins they often write to each other so one day what happened the country mouse uh, it wrote a letter to the town mouse so just see the letter that mouse town mouse it lives in kitchen cupboard and the country mouse it lives in a village so it live it lives in a country side so address of the country mouse is the mouse hole and mouse country so what it had written the town mouse was not feeling well it was suffering from uh, cough and cold so the doctor suggested the town mouse to stay in a village for a week so the town mouse it wanted to go go to his cousin's place so and it went to the cousin's place so the country mouse is uh, the country mouse was really happy to see its cousin so the, the, this was the story that happened in the last week okay the town mouse it, it invited the country mouse and it offered coconut water <coughs> it offered some tender bit of sugar cane and nice piece of roots but the town mouse did not like the raw food so this was the thing that happened last week let us continue what happened later all of you go to the page number 4 okay i'll read out the paragraph you just follow me okay on the ground ask the town mouse do i have to sleep on the ground yes this is how we sleep in the country his cousin answered as the mou- town mouse lay down on the hard cold ground he suddenly thought of something cousin he called out yes what is it the country mouse asked why is it so quiet here where are all the cars and lorries where are the radios and the televisions where are all the lights okay uh, the town the town mouse it wanted to sleep the country mouse it had shown some play, place on the ground so the ground was were really cold the town mouse he did not want to sleep on the hard cold ground uh, cousin how can i uh, sleep on this ground yes we all do like this only we sleep on the ground the country mouse said so the town mouse asked uh, my dear cousin why is it so quiet here quiet means all of you underline the word quiet quiet means very peaceful and calm in a village normally uh, villages are very calm and peaceful uh, they are not like our towns towns and cities are very crowded na so it's full of uh, traffic and vehicles running continuously that's why the town life is somewhat noisy but the village life is very peaceful the, so the the town mouse was so surprised to see this it it was asking the country mouse why is it so quiet here where are all the cars and lorries where are the radios and the televisions where are all the lights the, his cousin replied like this this is how it is in the country his cousin replied it's always quiet in the country 
sometimes it is quieter than today my grandfather says that our village is the quietest among all the villages in our district so uh, all of you underline the word quiet quiet means very peaceful and calm and quiet is an adjective so here but the adjective it can have different forms of comparisons so we you make use of degrees here quite quieter and quietest so today it is very quieter but uh, is my grandfather says that our village is the quietest among all the villages in our district so the country mouse village is, is the quietest of all the villages in that district oh is it the country is a strange place said the town mouse but he said to himself i don't think i like this place okay the town mouse uh, he did not like the country countryside he did not like that village and he said to himself uh, i don't like this place it means that the town mouse did not like the place next morning the town mouse found that there was no breakfast ready his cousin told him that they had to go to the nearby farm to search for the food next day morning the town mouse did not find any breakfast so it was eagerly waiting for the breakfast but his cousin told him that they have to search uh, for the food they have to they had to go to the nearby farm we are sure to find something there he said a nice piece of fruit or a tender bit of sugar cane again the same food okay uh, sugar cane all of you see the word sugar cane do you love sugar cane yes it's very tasty na so even i love sugar cane here the word sugar cane is a compound word compound word means this is a combination of two nouns sugar is a noun and cane is also a noun when we are go, uh, getting this kind of words na uh, this is called a compound word it's a combination of two nouns but the town mouse had enough thank you cousin he said but i think i will catch the next train home i have suddenly remembered that i have forgotten something a few days later the country mouse wrote to his cousin the town mouse here is the letter the town mouse uh, ate a tender bit of sugar cane and some roots but he did not like the food so he just want to leave the place and he said thank you cousin uh, i wanted to go to my place i i i have forgotten something so he he wanted to he wanted to go back so he left that place after few days na the country mouse wrote to his cousin the town mouse here is the letter all of you see this letter all of you see this letter this letter was written by the country mouse and where it where, what is its location mouse hole mouse country and he wrote the letter on 22nd march 2012 my dear cousin i hope you are well i am worried about you i would like to visit you and make sure you are all right with love your cousin country mouse to town mouse kitchen cupboard mouse stone so the town mouse where does he live the town mouse lives in kitchen cupboard mouse stone and the country mouse lives in mouse hole mouse country okay he now country mouse it wanted to visit its cousin in the town that's why he wrote the letter to his cousin let's move on to the next page the town mouse received the letter and read it since he was in a hurry he sent a telegram to the country mouse here is his telegram the town mouse got the letter from his cousin but he was in 
in a hurry so he could not get that much time to write the letter in detail so he just sent a telegram to the country mouse so all of you see this overjoyed come soon tour mouse what exactly is this telegram uh, all of you i think you you are not aware of what is a telegram in olden days a telegram is nothing but a message sent by telegraph and then delivered in a written or printed form when people they don't get much time to write the letter in detail or if they want to send a uh, message very quickly na people used to send the telegram in olden days so it just it's not a detailed letter it's just a short form of the letter here see this reply overjoyed come soon town mouse that's it he completed the letter only in three words this is the format of telegram now i will show you the picture of a telegram sent in olden days okay ma all of you see this picture so this is the format of a telegram the so uh, if you see this message you can find the message what they have written hearty congratulations best wishes for health wealth and happiness it's a simple message not uh, it's not written in detail so this is the format of telegram now we we don't have this kind of uh, now we don't have this telegram very recently they have shut down the services of telegram but you you might be knowing a new app called telegram app that's different this is different ma okay na got it do you know what is a telegram now it is nothing but a message sent by telegraphic code and then delivered in written or printed form when everything was silent again the town mouse crept out of the hole he was quite cheerful again come out now cousin he said that was only somebody opening the cupboard door we are safe now have you got it in somebody open the kitchen cupboard so that's why the town mouse and the country mouse they ran away from that place when everything was uh, silent again uh, the town mouse came out of the hole and it was again it seems to be very cheerful <laughs> my dear cousin you can come out now uh, just only one per, uh, somebody o- open open the cupboard we are safe now but they were not safe for very long twice more they had to run for safety when somebody opened the cupboard door so that was not the only time they had to run they 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 ran 3 4 times for their safety the country mouse got quite tired of running and hiding i want to go back to the country he said we may not get much food there but at least we can eat in peace so the next day the country mouse went back to his house in the country and the town mouse stayed on his in his cupboard in the town and as far as i know they did not visit each other again so the country mouse replied i did not like all these things even we, we may not have this kind of food available in our place but at least we can eat the food in peace so i don't want to stay here i i want to go get back to my place so the next day the country mouse it went back to his place in the country and the town mouse stayed in the cupboard so the town mouse did not like the country and the country mouse did not like the town so their lifestyles are different and their food habits are different and so uh, i think they did not visit each other again
because they don't want to be in those places no so they they are they kept silent they did not visit each other again okay that is the story of this lesson ma all of you see the glossary words here country country it's a noun that's why they have kept n in the brackets what is the meaning of country village an area outside towns or cities with fields and farms next word affectionately affectionately it's an adverb lovingly or showing caring feelings and love next word pack it's a verb to put clothes into a bag in preparation for a trip away from the home uncomfortable uncomfortable it's an adjective what is the meaning of uncomfortable unpleasant next word grumble grumble it's a verb to complain about something in a bad tempered way chug it's a verb to move making the sound of an engine next word dreadful it's an adjective what is the meaning of dreadful very bad and unpleasant okay ma all of you go through the lesson it's a reading card you have to read it reading is the most important skill all of you learn the spellings of the hard words and meanings of the glossary words okay na take care bye